Hi, welcome to Muzzle First. Today I want to talk about lighters. There's a couple different lighters that are very common that uh, most people have, and you probably have at least one or more of these at home. Um, on the left here we got two of these little Bic lighters. These are cheap. You can find them at the checkouts of pretty much any gas station, grocery store, um, wherever. They're widely available. They just work. They light. Um, pretty much every time that you strike it, it's going to light. Um, they do have a tendency to leak a little bit. It takes them quite a while to evaporate and go dry, but uh, um, pretty good lighter. Um, in the middle here, we've got these little peanut lighters. These are great little lighters. Not as versatile as the Bic. A um, little harder to use because you got to take the cap off of it, and they're small. But uh, they light really good. And uh, this one here actually will set up. Let me move the cloth out of the way here. Um, it's got a flat bottom so it'll sit up and I really like that. So these just just great little lighters. Um, these are great for putting in your packs or whatever. Um, but the lighter that I actually prefer are these Zippos. Uh, Zippos are just an iconic lighter. They've been around for a long long time. Um, so a little history on Zippo. Uh, Zippo was invented by a gentleman named George Bladesell. Blaisdell. I think it was Blaisdell. Um, so he he founded uh, Zippo Manufacturing in 1932. In 1933, they started making these guys. They produced their first lighter in 1933. Um, pretty much the same as it is now. Um, design has not changed that much, surprisingly. Um, so he he had he actually got the idea for these lighters. From an Austrian lighter. Um, there's a company in Austria, IMCO, that made a lighter that was very similar to this. He liked it and uh, started making his own. Um, and from what I had read, um, he just liked the, the word Zippo. It kind of sounded like zipper and he just liked the sound of it. Thought it just, uh, you know, rolled off the tongue nice. So that's why it became Zippo. Anyway, um, there's a couple problems with these lighters. This one right here um, solves some of the problems that the Bic has and that the, the Zippo have, but it's a little harder to use. It's not as convenient. Um, two real problems with the Zippo lighters. Number one is they're not waterproof. Um, you drop this in, in water somewhere and it's going to take you a while to get it to where you can light it again. Um, they're just not waterproof. And the other problem is that this uh, lighter fluid, this lighter fluid evaporates. And because they're not airtight, it will evaporate, the, all the lighter fluid out here will evaporate in just a couple weeks. It won't take it that long at all. Um, just a couple weeks, it'll be gone. There is a solution to this. The solution is like that. So this one here, I've had for quite some time now. Um, and a couple months ago, I kind of had been playing with an idea that I had seen. Um, and that was to put a rubber band basically around the middle of the Zippo to stop water from getting in, stop air from getting out, stop the Zippo from fluid from leaking out. And um, I must tell you, after playing with it for a while, it actually works. Um, I don't know if that would be indefinite. I, like I said, I've only, I've only had this rubber band here on this one for... Um, a little over a month, and I don't carry these. Um, it pretty much, this one here just sits on the bag, but it still works. Um, you can actually, uh, you don't have to take it off, you can just slide it down a little bit. And it is a little tight, but uh, that's actually needed to uh, actually make it waterproof. Um, but once you get it on, you can just kind of slide it around as you need it. And these are easy. You don't have to buy these. You can actually make these yourselves. They're easy to make and they're cheap. All you need are two things. All right? You need an inner tube and a pair of scissors. That's it. That's all you need. So this basically is about a one-inch piece of inner tube out of this inner tube. And I'll show you. So one key factor, if you go to buy an inner tube to get this, you want to make sure that the width is, is two inches or less. All right. Um, 
you get it around two inches it'll fit a little better this one here only goes to one and three eight so it's a little a little tight but all you got to do is take a section out of this inner tube and we're gonna show we're gonna we're going to uh, I'm gonna show you on this one all right this is about as easy as it gets for a mod that you can do yourself um, like I said you want about an inch you can uh, uh, the good thing about it is inner tubes are cheap. If you mess it up, you can redo it. It's not that big of a deal. All right? That's all we need. The rest of the inner tube, we're just going to save for something else. You know, we might find some other, some other use for it. Um, all right, so this is what it looks like. You can see it's pretty close to the size. It's a little hard to get on there the first time. Inner tube will eventually stretch out just a little bit. It'll get a little easier to go on there. But just stretch it over it. Slide it down, just like that. That's all there is to it. Um, I don't know if I would use this if I was carrying this in my pocket. If I use my lighter every day, um, I don't think I would do that. Um, I think I would just, you know, refill it every couple weeks and call it good. Um, but I don't smoke. I don't. Uh, I don't carry a lighter in my pocket. My lighters stay in a kit. Um, and in a drawer so for me this works great um, if you don't carry your lighters in your pocket to use it for lighting cigarettes or something like that every day this is this this is a good option for you um, like I said, it does make it a little harder to use because you have to move that band out of the way but like I showed you on this one just slide it down that's all you gotta do slide it down you're good to go and you're done you can just slide it back up drop it back in your kit drop it back in your bag med kit get home bag bug out bag whatever you want to call it whatever kit that you keep your your lighters in um, at that point as long as this stays airtight it should be you know it should it should it should last as long as this bit which I still like bits um, I have Bix also, but uh, and these little guys are not going anywhere. But if you're like me, if you just like the classic design of the Zippo, um, try it out. It's nice and easy. Just get you an inner tube. Just make sure the width of it here. You don't want the one that's uh, that says tire widths over two inches because those are going to be a little wider. Uh, you want a nice tight fit. All right, it has to be a tight fit on there to get that seal. But try it out let me know what you think all right if you got any questions you can send me an email at um, muzzlefirst at gmail.com or visit our website at www.muzzlefirst.com thank you and have a good day